come make a tumbler with me on my Eon Mira 9 laser. First thing we're going to do is turn it on, and then we're going to plug the rotary tool into the rotary port on the laser. We are using the Eon Smart Rotary Tool, so I'm going to go ahead and get that nice and tightened into that rotary port there. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and align the rotary tool. So we're going to start at one screw, and we're going to move the laser head down to the other screw. Make sure everything's aligned. This squares up the rotary tool with the laser head, since the laser head can only move in one axis during the uh, engraving process. The other axis is handled by the rotary. For this, we are using the Save a Cup tumbler, the 20 ounce one. So we're going to go ahead and unbox that here and get it out of its packaging. We're going to go ahead and grab our painter's tape. And I'm not exactly sure where I want to put the painter's tape to keep the thing from rolling off the table. So I'm going to just throw it on the floor, grab myself a piece of painter's tape, and I'm going to mark the back of the lid on the tumbler because that's where I want my design to line up when we're all said and done. I'm going to go ahead and place the tumbler onto the rotary tool and I'm going to move the laser head over the tape so that I can kind of align my cup where I want it on the rotary. And then I'm going to move the laser head down to the bottom of the cup where I want my design to start. Once I've got it there and I'm happy with it, I'm going to go ahead and hit the origin button. This sets the origin where I want my engraving to start. Once we've got that done, we're going to go ahead and set our focus. For tumblers, we usually defocus two millimeters. So normally I would do most of my cutting on wood at eight and a half millimeters. So for this, I'm going to defocus by two millimeters to ten and a half. Once we've moved the laser bed and got it where we want it, we're going to go ahead and switch over to Lightburn. In Lightburn, we're going to go ahead and select the text tool, click into there, and we're going to type in the name we want to put on our tumbler. In this instance, it's going to be Kinley. Once we have our name put in there, we're going to go up to the height and width adjustments. We're going to change our height adjustment to 8.5, because that's about what I want it to be on the tumbler. Then we're going to change our width adjustment to 2.5, because that should give us about the right uh, thickness on the tumbler that I'm looking for. Once we've got that done, we're going to go ahead and rotate the name 180 degrees, since I want the K and Kinley to start at the bottom of the tumbler. Once we've got that done, we're going to go ahead and hit the frame button. What this is going to do is it's going to have the laser draw basically a box around the entire outline of our word to make sure that it our design is about the size that we want it to be and that it's going to fit where we want it and everything looks good. I'm happy with how big that is. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that tape. I left the tape in there to just basically put a visual reference of how the tumbler was moving. Without the tape, it's kind of hard to see the tumbler moving. I'm going to go ahead and close the lid and start the engrave. This engraving is a six minute long process for this particular name. I've gone ahead and sped that up just to not bore you too much, but what the laser is doing is essentially pulverizing the powder coating on the tumbler there, which is exposing the bare metal of the tumbler underneath. I'm sorry about the video, how it gets kind of blurry there. I didn't realize my camera was starting to slip on me, but that should fix it. The way this works is that the rotary basically turns the cup underneath the laser since the laser can only move in the one axis there. Once it's finished, we're going to lift the lid and pull our tumbler out. I think that's looking pretty good so far. Take it over to the sink, wash it off with some water, and give it a nice scrub with the magic eraser. This is going to basically remove all of that pulverized powder coating and bring out that nice shiny bare metal underneath. Then we're going to give it a nice clean rinse, and there's our finished product. Thanks for watching.